Okay, Patrick, just a little um, recap on the stuff that we worked on today. So it's really the big thing for you in your swing is to make sure that your arms and body is moving a little bit more together. What we can see here, on the, from, say from here up to the top of the swing, is that you, both your arms are rotating a little bit too much away from your body. You can see how, here how you have a little bit too much daylight between your left arm and the chest, for example. You can also see halfway back that your shaft is a little bit too flat because of your arms are moving, uh, rotating a little bit too much. If you look at Tiger Woods, for example, halfway back, you see how his shaft is a little bit steeper. So if you compare it to the first line that I drew on the, on the screen here, you can see how his shaft is a little bit steeper than the original shaft line. Yours is a little bit flatter. So the feeling halfway back for you should be that the shaft points down more towards your toes. Mm -hmm. towards this line here. That's a, more the feeling than the reality, but this is a good, that's a good feeling for you. Also feel that you, when you start your swing that you keep the club face a little bit close, halfway back, and that the shaft is a little bit steeper. From halfway back, you can see when he turns, turns up to the top of the swing, you can see how his left elbow is facing us. Mm -hmm. uh, yours, when you swing back, will face a little bit more, say, over here. Mm -hmm. So that's why your shaft points out to the left a little bit. And when the arms rotate the way you, your arms does, then they have to re-rotate on the way back. So therefore, when you swing down, your club will kind of change direction and come down a little bit too steep. So you see halfway down here, you can see how the shaft is, uh, say, up towards your right shoulder somewhere. If you look at Tiger Woods and you know, all other uh, tour players, you can see how their shaft is more down towards the right elbow. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that tells me a lot about how the impact will be, both when it comes to uh, swing direction, which direction the club is moving on through the ball, and also which, what kind of uh, uh, angle of attack the club will have on the way down. Mm -hmm. So you will have a steep angle of attack and a little bit too much out to in swing. You can see, for example, on the way down here, that your club is approaching the ball a little bit too much mm -hmm. from that angle. If you keep the club face open, the ball will go pretty straight. If the club is more shut, you will hit the ball to the left. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that's why you can uh, say hit both ways. Mm. Tiger, for example, when he comes into the ball, you see how his club is coming down a little bit more from the inside. There, you yeah. see difference there. Yeah. So that's that's a good feeling for you when you swing down. That you try to swing more on this line here, and this you can exaggerate a little bit. Just feel that you come down more from the inside mm -hmm. and swing out. Mm -hmm. You will never do that, though. You will never. I don't think you will do it too much, uh, not for the, um, for the next years, but you can s exaggerate it a lot, you know, when you do it. So that's very important. Another good thing for you to look at, for example, I, I will first show you one of your new swings here. So see, when you do your new swing, when you focus on keeping the club face a little bit more shut, then, then your arms won't rotate the same way as it did, did before. Uh, halfway back, when you set the club, you see I put the long T in the in the grip band, and that helps you to see where the shaft line points. So I recommend you to have a long T in the, in the mm -hmm. grip. Halfway back in, in your old swing, you see how shaft is more flat. Mm -hmm. Also on the top of the swing, you see how your left shaft points left. Whilst when you focus on your right elbow here, or your left elbow, that it should point more towards us then you see how the shaft is more online. And that, that will really help you when you swing, swing down to approach the ball from a shallower angle. So that's uh, really the key for you. It's a lot of hard work to do it. Uh, the key for you is to um, practice well, which means that uh, you know, many good practice swings between each shot. If you have, say, somewhere at home where you can make a practice swing in front of a mirror or something, it's always good to do. Mm -hmm. Because then you see directly what, what you do and it gives you good feedback. Another way, good way of getting feedback is when you practice, if you can set, the, set yourself up maybe 15, 20 centimeters away from a wall, take your setup, make your backswing, keep the club face shot, halfway back the shaft should be pretty steep. And there you see that you don't get any contact with the with the wall with the club, so that tells you immediately, you know, if you have done a correct backswing or not. Uh, from there, you, if you want, you can turn up to the top of the swing also, but just make sure that this elbow is more rotated in this direction instead of the other way. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, grip is very very important for you because your left hand grip was a little bit too weak and there, I, the way I see it everything started everything that happened uh, in your swing started from your weak grip so it's very important you strengthen your grip a little bit make sure that the left hand is a little bit more turned over like you did there with the thumb over a little bit more and that will give you a little bit stronger grip because if your hand is kind of say, uh, uh, pre-rotated this way you will, will be able, easily be able to rotate the other way around. So kind of make sure that you use grip it up a little bit stronger with your, with your left hand. Uh, so work on this. Next time I see you, we will talk a little bit about your body action. Mm -hmm. uh, but for now, you find just working on the, on the club on the arms. Otherwise, you get too much information. That's perfect. Well done. And swing blir inte bättre än ditt grepp. Och greppet är viktigt för att du dels ska kunna få vinkel mellan vänster arm och skaften och svinga bak, men även för att du ska kunna leverera klubblar rakt ner mot bollen. Så att för att få klubban där den ska man säger i handen, så är det viktigt att du känner när du greppar klubban att du får ner greppet mot fingrarna ganska mycket. Ett vanligt bland många spelare är att greppet hamnar lite för mycket upp i handflatan på det här viset och det försvårar alltså vinkling, vinklingen av handleden plus att det är svårt att få bladet rakt också ner till bollen. Så att, håll gärna upp skaftet som jag gör här ungefär i 45 graders slutning. Lägg dit vänster hand. Eh, och se till att greppet börjar ungefär där det här väcket är strax ovanför för lillfingret. Låt sedan greppet löpa diagonalt över handen ner mot mitten av pekfingret. Slut sedan fingrar runt handtaget. Täck med tummen resten av handen. Och kolla gärna att du ser lite mer av den här delen av handen ovanför handtaget. Så att inte klubban ligger och täcker den kudden för mycket. Har du hål i handsken här uppe så kan du misstänka att greppet ligger lite fukt upp. Och då får du alltså inte tillgång till den flexibilitet som krävs för att skapa hälsomseffekt i svingen. Check nu checkpunkt nummer två. Det är att du kollar på den här linjen som bildas mellan tummen och pekfingret på vänster hand. Och förlängningen på den ska peka upp mot höger axel. Eh, när du gör rutiner då så håller du med höger hand ovanför på det här viset. Och när du har väl har fått dit vänster hand så drar du bara höger hand ner tills, kudde, eller tills tummen glider in emellan de här två i livslinjen ska vi kalla det för. Eh, så att tummen försvinner i livslinjen. Sen hur du kopplar upp fingrarna det är helt upp till dig. Det väljer du själv. Eh, däremot så vill vi gärna se att när du har greppat klubban då, att linjen som bildas mellan tummen och pekfingret på den högra hand också pekar upp eh, mot samma punkt som den vänstra pekar, alltså upp, någonstans upp mot höger axel. För att skapa bättre vinkel mellan armarna och skaftet halvvägs bak så kan det vara bra om du tar en ganska lång pegg, trycker ner den i greppänden på det här viset på klubban, greppa klubban, Svinga bak och så kan du då se att halvvägs bak så pekar peggen rakt ner mot marken. Så att gör gärna den övningen lite grann innan du slår i slag bara för att se att du får korrekt vinkel mellan armen och skaftet. Ifrån den här vinkeln där du ska slå bollen på, då är det viktigt att när du svingar bak att du försöker få förlängning på peggen att peka ner någonstans mellan tårna, alltså den linjen som bildas mellan tårna här. Och den linjen som bollen ska flyga på. Så att någonstans emellan de här två linjerna ska liksom förlängningen på skaftet peka ner när du kommer upp halvvägs bak. Så alltså undvika att skaftet ligger för flakt. Undvika att skaftet ligger för brant. Utan svinga bak. Se till att förlängningen på skaftet pekar ner någonstans mellan de här två linjerna.